Miss Friday, y'all, how y'all feeling today? Hey, I am Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of What the Scriptures Say Day, scripture memorization techniques, where every day we're spending anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes in the Word of God, becoming more like Him, equipping ourselves to do the work of ministry so we can compel men to give their lives to Christ. And on today, Friday, the last day of the week for me, I'm not sure if others may have to work on Saturday or what have you, but... What we do on Fridays is we exercise to it, and I'm ready to exercise, right? And so the scripture that we are memorizing while we exercise is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, three times, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost, right? And so as you're doing your jumping jacks, as you're doing uh, the treadmill or the elliptical, whatever your choice is, comment below that you're going to do some type of exercise. And let me know what that is, okay? Because you want to get the cardio going because you not only want to uh, build up your spirit, man, but even your natural uh, body needs to move. Okay, it needs to exercise, and just like the scripture say for us to go, ye that's movement, right? And so, in order for us to go, we need to have this body right. Okay, well, you know, we want to be able, you know, to get proper sleep and to eat right, and you know, to sweat out all the impurities and all that really good stuff, right? So that we can represent our heavenly Father right? As we share the good news of Jesus. And also we are in the midst of our Bible reading challenge. Today we are reading Daniel chapters 4, 5, and 6. Now let me switch over to the Bible trivia question for today. And it comes from Daniel 6 and 11, which says, then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his what? Comment your answer below and tune in on tomorrow where I reveal to you the correct answer. And the answer to yesterday's question was heaven. So like, subscribe, comment. And if you do not have the scripture memorization guide or the Bible reading challenge calendar, just click on the link below and I'll get it to your inbox, okay? But in the meantime, I want you to give someone a hug. Show someone a smile and let someone know that Jesus loved them and you do too. I'll talk to you tomorrow with the next scripture memorization technique.